Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Sharanya. Today we're gonna learn about how to create your account in code.org as a student. Come on, let's get in. Firstly, we have to open the website link that is code.org. I've also given the link in the description. You can refer to it. So now this is your code.org website. You can even call it as code.org. That is fine. And now you have to click on sign in to create your account. Then choose create an account. So now you can either go with Google, that means your Gmail or Microsoft or even with a Facebook account. Or you can, if you have any other account other than these, you can write it in the email and the password confirmations and all. Okay. So here I'm choosing Gmail right now. So I'll click on this. And I'm choosing my Gmail. Yeah. So here it shows both student and teacher. Now we will learn about how to create students account. Yeah. So account type, you have to choose student. And if parent is signing up on behalf of your child, please tick this checkbox. And if you need any updates from code.org, so then you can enter your email and you can choose S if you want updates. If you don't want, please choose no. Then comes with the display name. So you can enter your child's name here. Later, you can choose the age. So suppose if your kid is maybe um, seven years old, you might choose seven. But I have a pointer to add here. That is, so here few labs are restricted according to the age of your kid. For example, if your child is seven years old, um, he or she will not be able to use some of the labs like app lab or game lab. Some features would be restricted. So I always recommend the students to choose 21 plus, even though you're not 21 plus, so that you will be able to explore a lot of different labs. So according to your capacity, uh, because sometimes you might feel some of the labs are very, very easy for you and you want to explore a lot. That time it would be really useful when you have chosen your age 21 plus. So sometimes what happens is you might feel you've completed learning a particular lab and you're very confident over it. And then you want to explore a lot of complex activities or a lot of different activities in code.org. That time, this age will actually matter. So then it will be really, really useful for you if you have already chosen 21 plus. So all the features would be available for you. In the starting, if you've forgotten to choose as 21 plus later, also you can update it. I'll also show how to update your age later if you've forgotten to choose here. So then click on go to my account. Your account is ready now. So this is your dashboard. So where you will see a lot of different features. So I'll come to that one after the other. So if you click on my dashboard, you will get the same thing which you see in the starting. So after this, you have your name on the right side. If you click on it, you can access your projects. There is account settings and sign out. Okay. So if you click on my projects, as this is the starting of your code.org journey, so you might not have any projects. So it would show you currently have no projects. Okay. And if you want to change something in your account settings, as I already said, if you've forgotten to update your age as 21 plus, then you can click on account settings and you can update your age anytime to 21 plus so, so that you'll get an opportunity to explore a lot more new features in code.org. And then you can click on update account. If you're updating any things here, maybe your display name or your age. So after you've updated, please click on update account. Then it gets updated. Then you'll be able to see the changes on your account. Okay. After this, so if you click on sign out, you'll be logged out from your account. So let me go back to the dashboard. Yeah. Later comes with how to create your projects. So you will click on create and you will explode a lot of different labs here. Okay, so I'll be teaching them one after the other. I hope by now you all have your code.org account ready. That sounds interesting. To learn about coding and enjoy learning coding with me, please subscribe to my channel. And if you really like the way I teach, please like and share with your friends. And also comment if you have any questions so that I can help you people through that. It was nice meeting you all. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye from me.